Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Modded Ark Survival Evolved. Thanks so much for coming back with me guys, um, it means a lot to me. So I'm bringing you in kind of strange location here, we're not at the base, we're over at the mountain right near the northern island, right here. I have something kind of strange to show you, I've never really seen this. I'm just going to fly over here and uh, let me know when you think you're seeing the strange thing. Let's see here. Oh look, it's a Giganotosaurus. Oh look, it's another Giganotosaurus. Oh look, it's another Giganotosaurus. There are three Gigas right here. I, I don't get it. I do not understand it. I have no idea what is going on here, guys. Okay, so we got a 136. We got. You're so big, how can I miss you? A 408. Oh my gosh, okay. 408. And, okay, I know there's a third one of you. 136. Male, and, is that both of you over 136? 408. I thought I saw another number there for a second. Um, okay, and right under me here, what is this one? Is it just, okay, their texture on them looks so similar to okay this is so weird they, they move so fast or such big guys and a 136 okay I don't I don't know if I'm yeah I think both of those are 136 males oh my gosh is that a fourth one uh guys something's a little broken why the heck do I have four gigas right in the same area oh my gosh so I came over here originally because I was like hey there's a whole bunch of obsidian over here and you know I'd like to get some obsidian that would be great and all of a sudden I'm like okay there's four gigas and guess what crossing here on the opposite side of the mountain there's another giga uh yeah not good not good at all <laughs> oh my goodness okay here let's see what level this is okay just a 102 not a big deal. But I have never seen this before. This is insanity. Um I feel like this mountain's gonna be kind of like off limits now. Is that another Giga? No, okay, okay. Alright, so the other Giga on the other side of the mountain is like a three hundred and something. We're just gonna take a little flight here and see if we can't find ourselves some more gigas oh my goodness not that we need any oh look and another alpha what is up with this mountain okay 136 and don't tell me that's a giga on top of the mountain hold on hold on hold on yeah it's a giga on top of the mountain and it's not one of the ones we saw before because they can't climb up there nothing can climb up to the top of the mountain it's a 204 giga um, hmm. I don't know what to say, guys. Something is really, really broken. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's find another Giga. And I swear, I did not spawn these in. None of that happened. I mean, you can take a look. Like, look, here's my... Right there. None of that. No, no spawning in, happened in. I, I'm in shock. I'm really in shock. Okay, so there's that's a Rex. There's the other Giga right there. That's the um, sixth Giga on one mountain. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. I mean, and two Alphas, all in the same mountain. I don't know if they changed something or if they increased the spawn rates. I know that there's been a ridiculous amount of patches coming out. If any of you guys are playing, no, I'm recording this on January the 8th. Just breaking the wall here. Uh, and so there's been like, I don't know, four or five patches since 231 has come out. And I don't know if any of them somehow affected the spawn ratios, but I have never seen that before. I mean, uh, I was playing on one of the servers when they first came out and I mean I would fly I flew around for like 
I don't know, a month or more when they first came out without ever seeing one. And then I've seen a few. And I just saw six gigas on one mountain. No idea. Now I know I'm playing modded. And I don't know if that affected it. But oh my goodness. I'm just in shock right now, guys. I don't even know what to do. Alright. Um, well, I think I'm going to take a little break here. We'll be back. Uh, we'll see if... Um, we'll see what else we can get into. I'm lost for words just with how crazy that was. Okay, I'm rambling. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So, that was pretty crazy with the gigas, wasn't it? Alright, so guys, today, what I want to get accomplished is a little bit of building. As you can see, I got a couple new dinos, just some things that I, I found I quickly tamed up. This Megalosaurus actually ended up quite a bit higher than I thought he was going to. Pretty sweet. Uh, we also got a new Procoptodon. Not very high level, nothing super exciting. I just found it at one of the mountains when I was flying around on, on uh, Budgie over here. We got this guy right here. Haven't even named it yet. Level 700. I'll show you the stats. So not bad, almost 8,000. Uh, over 1,000 weight, 831% melee damage. Again, guys, just in case you're wondering or you didn't catch the last episode, I have disabled the, the uh, balancing changes that Ark's been doing until they kind of finalize what they're what they're deciding on because they're doing so many uh, small patches I just wanted to wait and see what they ended up with before allowing that to happen and they, the very first uh, patch 231 explains how to disable those so anyway getting to what we're going to be working on today I have been spending a lot of time doing resource gathering let's see here so I have now eight wall or eight behemoth gates and a behemoth gate doors or reinforced doors so I'm hoping that we can get the place fenced in I put up a bit a little bit of a barrier I think this was up four it just kinda stretches to right over here with these spiked walls because man do we have a sarco problem man like it's a big pain we got this up this is a little teaser here for a coming soon episode I'll see if you guys can guess what it is I did already mention what I wanted to do you know, you, we saw that we got all these trikes later on, so we got air conditioners, we got a bunch of trikes. Oh, I bet you can guess what's coming. Uh, I'm going to be doing a breeding episode. I just want to wait on getting my new mic so that I can have really nice audio and uh, and you guys can understand me clearly because we're going to be talking about a lot about um, numbers and technical things, and I don't want this kind of not-so-great audio I have right now to mess with that. So that'll be coming in the future, guys. Hopefully, the very near future. But let's get started with some placing some gates. So I'm just going to place the first one here. And uh, then I'll probably do the rest off cam. Because, I mean, placing gates isn't the most exciting thing ever. The issue we're going to have is this little slope right here. Because we're doing... Um, we're building right up to the water's edge. It kind of slopes down. I'll probably have to put, like, a, a fence foundation or something. Hmm, okay. Go a little forward, go a little this way, everything's reversed. Okay, I want to make sure I'm far enough out. Oh, that's so weird how I can just sit off the ground like that. That's about where I want it. Yeah, that's that should be pretty good. I'm debating putting it a little further out, just to give us more space from our taming bin. Uh, let's try. Let's see what it looks like. Not bad. Definitely going to have to put fence foundation and a couple walls under there, but that's not too bad. Let's put the door in. Dun da da. Bam. Alright. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to just put some of these walls up, and uh, I'll be back soon, guys. Okay, guys. Just bringing you back to show you a bit of progress here. So this is some of what we got done. I've Placing these just along the edge. This is on the, I guess, eastern shore of our base. I realized I wanted to make the base a little bigger than I originally intended. I only had, I think, eight gates to start with, so we put those two over there. And then I started over here. I wanted to take a lot of this, um, got all these plants here. I'm hoping they'll respawn because I want to be able to put driftwood on uh, Wander and have her pick up a lot of fiber 
and that way it's just kind of automated I don't have to worry about it she'll have all the fiber we'll ever need and also we're just gonna need more space if we're gonna have big dinos like you know we're gonna have t-rexes and all kinds of cool stuff eventually and we're gonna need that space this means I'm going to have to do some more gathering some more grinding and produce let's see cuz I'm out of gates probably four more gates to make that distance yeah probably three or four more gates so I'm just gonna do a little more grinding but man I really like the look of the gates when they're empty like that it's kinda like Stonehenge or like something like that I wish I could put like a glass or like a force field or something in between these that you could walk through that would be really cool just like I feel like a mod or something gave you just like a force field door that you could walk through but none of the wild dinos could walk through that'd be really neat anyway guys I'm just gonna do a little more grinding finish up some of these walls and we'll be back to finish this up okay we're ready to place the last gate of what I'm sure is something that'll be expanded in the future but let's place not really perfect we're building on really really uneven ground guys so it's not even close to perfect I mean yeah sorry but hey it's 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 a thing it's together pretty much done so I ended up, I built four more gates. I only needed three. I'm going to try and stick all the doors in now. And we are going to have to do some patching. Because, I mean, that's like, that's, this is a full, I could put like a little mini doorway in here. I may actually do that just for fun. Put like a, like a normal sized person gate right there. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. Allow me to get out the back. And, yeah, we're just going to have to do some, oh my goodness, I thought that was, Oh, I thought it was obstructed. I was going to be so upset. I was like, no. Come on. Okay. Woo. So close. All right. Putting doors in. And like I said, I really like the, the kind of open look of this, but it's there's not really any point to having it open. It kind of defeats the purpose. Because I'm fencing this off to keep out, like, sarcos and all the bad things. We actually had carnos come, come this far down. So I'm not sure where they came from, but we had carnos almost at our base to take Finn out and show him who's boss but that's pretty much what happened and it looks like I made an extra gate I have an extra frame whoa blinding sun and an extra door so that's not too bad definitely have some holes just to fill in and I will oh my goodness that there I think it's a little too bright let me gam it down there we go so I'm gonna have to replace these eventually but, I mean, for right now, it works great. The only thing that will try and come in from here is Sarkos, and I don't think they'll actually attack the fences. Yeah, they're all, like, full health, and we get Sarkos pretty regularly. Um, but, yeah, I guess it's time to patch some stuff. We got this big gaping hole right here. Not sure what we'll do about that. But we're one step closer to a uh, semi-secure base, guys. So I'm just going to get some more materials together, and... Okay guys, I've got some more materials made up and we're just going to do a little bit of patchwork here. So i got a wooden fence foundation. I'm wondering if I should have used stone because I don't know if they can destroy the fence foundation. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. Can I make a stone fence foundation? Sorry to be like just discovering things on camera here with you guys. Stone fence foundation. Okay, we can do that. Darn. Okay, that might be what we have to do. Now, I did a little bit of a patch down there with just wood fence foundations and stone walls. I think I'll risk that for now, but I'll make up a couple stone fence foundations. Let's see, this should make us. What am I low on thatch, I guess? Let's grab some more thatch. I'd like to make, mm, I don't know, a couple of these. Just do like two more of them, that should be good. And I'll replace these wooden ones in my hotbar here with the stone. Feeling pretty heavy, so I want to put a door here. I'm, I was kind of joking about it before, but I like the idea. That way I don't have to mess with opening this big door if I don't have to. So, I'm going to try and see if we K-mode. Oh my gosh, it puts it all the way behind me. Okay. 
Oh, not what I wanted to do. And not what I wanted to do either. Well, as you can see, I'm just like a fantastic builder. <laughs> Alright, I mean, come on guys. Name like Samson, you're like, yeah, I, I don't know. I just smash things with my fist until they submit. Uh, I don't want to put that there. I want to put the door frame. So I have this stone door frame. Okay. And, yeah, that works. And I have a reinforced door. Let's use that. Cool. So now we have this little tiny door. Now, is this lined up nicely? Yeah, it's actually lined up pretty good with that door as far as being flush. Now, let's stack another... Yeah, another one right there. We're going to need another fence foundation. Now, trying to get this to snap to the other one and go up this hill is not an easy task. I'm probably going to have to just free place it, which is so ugly. Um, but whatever. We're going for function, not beauty here. There we go. One more, and it's obstructed. But I don't think anything can get through that little space. But something can get through here still. So my general idea of it all is if I can get through it, uh, crawling, then compies can get through. If I can't get through it crawling, hopefully compies can't get through it. That's that's the main idea, and we do get a lot of compies around here. Okay. Kind of doing uh, these, I guess, right there. Another one of these. Bam. And let's do the test. We'll Get on our bellies here and try and crawl through. Can't quite get through. Let's try and get a little closer. And, oh, so close. You know what? It's, it's so close. I'm almost a little concerned that the compies can just walk right through. So let's try putting one more fence right, like, here. One more wall. Okay, it doesn't fit, but I bet you if I open the door... Yeah, I can place it, and you can still close this door after. I just don't know if we'll be able to get anything through. It's alright, we'll just use another door. This is more to be a wall than an actual door to go in and out of, so that's alright. And for consistency's sake, I'm going to open this. And I'm going to stick another one right here. Oh, it's so patchworky. I don't know, it's a, it's the rustic look. That's what you say, right? It's a, it's a rustic look. Now, can I get through here? Oh, I can totally crawl through here. Okay. We have found another hole. <laughs> Let's uh, craft another stone fence foundation. Did not think we were going to need this many. And... Let's see. Oh, I can't tell at all how close we are. Slip down like this. Go into K mode. And it's behind us again go like all the way down like this still behind us all the way still behind us oh it's so weird okay we're gonna have to guess here do a little bit of guesswork uh not too bad okay let's see if we can get out of this there we go um okay okay not, not the worst I've ever seen I get through here. Not quite, but again, oh, it's just so, so close to being able to get through, and I just would think compies could get through that. It's it's kind of frustrating because before it'd be like, oh yeah, there's no way a dilo could get through there. We're totally good, totally safe. But because there's compies now, we have to compy proof everything. <laughs> because any of our dinos that are on passive, they'll just come through and eat them. So that has to happen. Alright, there we go. Should be compu proof. And we can still close the door. Really nice. Okay. Let's go down the line here. Right there. See, I almost wish we had like half walls or something like that that I could that I could stick in. And yep, I'm able to go all the way under here. Okay. So back myself out. Making another fence foundation. Man, it's like like I'm playing like a 
plumber game or something, you know, clogging up le or you know, fixing leaks. Open, says me. Okay. Eight. Is it? Is it? Is it there? No. Fence foundation. There we go. Okay, that was weird. And it's snapping to something, is it? Okay. Let's do that. And one of these. And we're good. Check it out. Alright. Close this door. Come on, door close. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And last but not least, we have these massive holes over here, right? I think that we have some big holes. Actually, no, we don't. Alright, I did that pretty good. We have this guy right here. That's a pretty decent sized hole. So I think this will be our last hole that we're going to patch. And then we can get on to something a little more exciting. Let's put that there. And put this like that. How'd that work out? Pretty hidden. Not too bad. And... Oh, we can almost get through. Not quite, not quite. Okay. And I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Woo! Almost stuck. Let's put one more, just to be safe. Oh, I'm out of stuff. I can't build any more fence foundations. I'm out of wood. Okay, okay. We can fix that. We happen to have a tree right here inside our base. Look at that. Convenient wood. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Let's put this away. Get our fence foundation. Fix the last hole. And we'll be back, okay? Alright, I'm just going to fix this last one. You know what? No. You guys stick here with me. It's like an accomplishing moment right here. Getting the base together. Getting things all squared. And bam. Look at that. We have very nearly a secured base. Probably just going to stick another spike wall right there for now. But wow. Alright, sweet guys. We have a base. So that means once I secure right there, I can put Driftwood on Wander, and she can go take care of her fiber needs. Alright, we're going to take a little break here, guys, and I'll be back after I've just done a few minor touches here. Okay, guys, crowning moment here. Under the cover of this nasty fog, we're going to release Driftwood to do her duty. We're commissioning her to be our Thatch Gatherer. We're going to enable Wandering right there. Okay, Driftwood, you do your thing, girl. Go get that fiber. Don't wander off. So she should be completely encased by this wall and by these doors. And we should not have to worry about her wandering off. And we have all this awesome, like, plants and stuff all around here, which is really good. So I think to finish off the episode, guys, I want to take out our new Procoptodon. And I think that would be a lot of fun. It's like 200 levels higher than Joe than Rue here, so I haven't made an extra saddle because it requires a lot of uh, a lot of fur, like uh, pelt or or whatever you call it. I'm just gonna chuck all of this stuff in here, and we're gonna go up. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, good, good, good. Hello, Procoptodon. We must come up with a name for you, friend. Let's see, we're gonna pump movement speed. I wanna like make this guy like a super fast guy. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Jump over that. Oh wow, that went way farther than I thought. And super slow swimming speed. Man, it's so foggy. Sorry guys. So we're just gonna do like man, look how fast he is. It's pretty good. I wanna see if we can get it up to like I don't know, like some kind of ridiculous speed stat. We're just gonna go take on some like dillos and stuff and, and see how she handles herself. Oh. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, let's back up, turn around. And we're so much faster than these raptors, it's ridiculous. Kick that thing, but I don't even know what the base melee on these are. Those were low level. We're so big too, I mean these kangaroos, they're like game changers. 
So something I've been thinking about, guys, is maybe not this playthrough, because we're already past that point, but... Oh, 850. Wow. Oh, lock up. Freeze frame. Kangaroo's a bit of a... Eva likes to see her picture taken. Is it a girl or is it a dude? I think it... Actually, you know what? I think it's a dude. What level are you, man? The last one was 850. This is a perfect one. Oh, another... 850. Crazy. Alright, so, let's pump speed. 116%. And are you a dude? Are you a dude? Yep. Probably gonna name it something like. It's another fan. We're gonna name it Jack. Like you know the movie Kangaroo Jack. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's name him right now. Official naming ceremony. So change name. Jack. You know what? We're gonna do full name. Kangaroo Jack. Bam! Kangaroo Jack right here. In the house. And that's so sweet, that jump. Let's see if we can clear the river here. Oh yeah, that's nuts. We'll make short work of this guy. Level 34. What do you think you got going on here? So you can use the spyglass pretty easily with these guys. Level 136? Uh... Spino right here. I feel like we can run away if we need to. I think we're I think we're okay. Help these packies out. Are we taking damage? A little bit. We're taking torpor, is it? Oh, we're in it now. We're in it now. Headbutt, 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 head. Take him on. Get out of here, 136. Oh, I killed a 340 packy. Yeah, you can't outrun me. You can't outrun me. What do you think you got? That's right. I've got, like, springs for legs. Oh, my goodness. 130% movement speed. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Look at that jump. Okay. Race back home. Let's see what kind of time we can make here. I, I would like to, like, pit these things against some of the other speedy things in the game and see how they compare, but... I mean, I feel like we're way faster than a raptor. We got this kind of cool, like, leaning thing, too. Like, when we, like, kind of weave and bob here. We corner really good. Like, these things turn on a dime. <laughs> I didn't know what I expected there, but that's all right. I wonder if... What level are you, old brown pteranodon? Hmm. Hello? It's really bizarre, like... Color. I don't think I've ever seen them all brown like that. Okay, I want to see if we can jump this gate. Final thing. Final thing, guys. Alright. Let's turn around. Let's get like a hopping, running start here. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so close. So close. Oh. Alright, Kangaroo Jack, man. You're so close to jumping over that. Okay, one more time. One more time. All about like when we click that jump button. Gotta get as late as possible. Ah, oh, I just can't quite get it, but that is sweet. Like we don't even take any damage off that either. Like fall damage? Let's check it out. This is a pretty significant height. Okay, we took a little bit of fall damage. Not bad though. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for coming by. Seeing us get our fortress up and going here. Seeing Kangaroo Jack. This is our a legit tamed level 700 on our uh, max level 1020 server. We're playing with a difficulty 34 plus plus mod. And Kangaroo Jack here is a champ. If you guys are looking for more ARC videos, I do have other videos on the server. And like I said, uh, sorry about the bad audio quality. I am getting a new microphone, and so we'll see some of that improve in the new season. But until next time, guys, I'm Samson here signing off. And we'll see you soon.